Hey what's going on guys I am Junaid Maksud and today we will talk about sending bulk airtime top ups to anyone in the world If you aren't familiar with Reloadly, Reloadly is a mobile airtime API platform that is made for developers. However, they do provide a bunch of ready to use projects to ease the developer client experience and today we will be looking into the bulk sample project that is provided on their github account to anyone to use and extend i will put the link to this repository in the description down below so make sure to check this out and give it a try the goal of today's video is to set up this repository on a brand new server and basically walk you guys through the whole process i will be using digital ocean and purchasing a small droplet it costs about five dollars per month to run i will also leave a promotional link down below for you guys to use and get a free hundred dollar credit on your digital ocean account now let's switch on to digital ocean and get started with our first server now that i am logged into the digital ocean account let me create a new droplet droplets are basically virtual servers that digital ocean has that deploy on the cloud so basically you have the option to add more resources if you need to in the future without disturbing your data so as we require a server with docker so let me just go into the marketplace and use a docker image to create our server so we'll just select the smallest package that they have so for five dollars a month this is completely fine for the bulk project that we will be deploying as this is going to be most likely for our internal use only no need to add block storage you can choose any region based on where you're located to get an even faster ping to your server i'm simply gonna select new york you can add an ipv6 address so for authentication DigitalOcean provides you two ways to basically access your server you can either access it with your ssh key which is what i'm going to do or you can have a password for your server and basically log in with that password it's more secure to have your key added here so you can either add your own key but as mine is already linked with this account so i'm simply gonna use that let's name our server sample reloadly youtube and we'll just create the droplet it takes about a few seconds to a minute to basically for the digital ocean to create the server so let's wait for it so now that the server is deployed they basically give you an IP now let's copy the address and basically access this server via the SSH route that we created so there are many different SSH clients that you can use depending on what system you are currently on I'm gonna be using Termias on my MacBook so let me just switch to that so let's add a new host we'll call this sample youtube reloadly we'll paste in the ip address now by default the port is 22 so do we don't need to change that the username is going to be root if you set the password for the machine you can either enter the password here but as i've set the ssh key so i'll just add that here and save it and we'll just connect to it click yes so now we have logged into our server that we just purchased from DigitalOcean. Uh, let's move back to the repository and see what our first step is. So let's just check out the documentation that we have for this repository. So the requirement for this project to work, we require two things. We need Docker and we need Make. As we already use the Docker image to make the server, so Docker is already installed. The only thing left is the Make. So let's just do apt get install make so this will basically install make into our system now that both docker and make are installed we have fulfilled all the requirements so let's just copy this command and paste it into our server and that's it this will basically get the whole repository and do all the installation for us it will also set up all the databases and containers and everything so you don't need to do anything else after running this command so once the installation is done we should be ready to go it is going to take a few minutes for the system to install everything so i'm simply gonna come back once it's installed okay so we are back 
and the installation is done it took about seven minutes for the system to install everything including all the dependencies and basically setting up the database and everything so we just executed one command and we were done now let's switch back to the digital ocean and we'll copy the IP address and basically open that in our browser and we are done the system is up and running now that the step one is done and we have deployed the whole system to our own server let's log in so if we go back to the repository you, we can see the default user credential that the system has created for us so we'll just copy that and the password is admin so we'll just paste that and log in there we go so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into the settings and from here you can change the password or even the logo you can have your own company logo here uh, we do need the Reloadly API keys for the system to work which you can basically find in your Reloadly's account so I'm simply gonna log into my account at Reloadly and basically get the keys from there so let me just copy the keys into the system and as we're on live let's just switch that and we will simply submit now that the keys are saved if we go to the dashboard and see your balance and all the countries that are supported by the reloadly platform so it takes a few minutes for the system to basically get the operators once you have put the keys in your system so we're simply gonna wait for the operators to be fetched so now that the operators are synced let's start with sending our first bulk top up request so let's click to send top up so let's click to download so how this actually works is you download the template csv file and you basically add the numbers and the top ups amount in that template file and then you upload it back into the system to send top up to all of them so let's download the file we'll simply open the template in excel so the file requires four parameters you need to tell the country code for which the number you're sending the top up to you need to tell if you're specifying the amount in local currency or in the currency of your account by default the system will send top up in your accounts currency let's go back to dashboard and check out the country codes so basically these are all the countries that are supported you can check different pages to find your country or you can even search in the search bar to basically find which country you're sending to and the iso code so we're gonna need that so let's add ca and we'll simply add a sample number the amount we're specifying is not in local currency so we'll send a top up of 3.5 let's send one in Nigeria so it's NG and we're sending in local currency so we'll send 500 Naira let's add another number for US United States so it's US and we're also sending in local currency so we'll send five dollars so let's save the file and now let's switch back to our system and we will upload the template file that we have created so once the file is uploaded it's gonna wait for the file to process so this can take a few minutes once the processing is done and the system has verified the file and all the numbers and matched them to their appropriate operators it will change the action here and allow us to send the bulk top up so let's wait a few minutes for the system to process the file so now that the processing is done and the system is telling us that the template file that we uploaded had three numbers that it could find so let's start the process by clicking on start so now it will basically tell us if there were any issues with the numbers or the operators so it's telling me that the Nigerian entry was fine 
and it were it was able to find the airtel nigeria operator for this number so for the other two number it was not able to find the operator so let's manually select the operator and it was also not able to recognize the amount as this operator supports only fixed value of these and we entered a something else so let's select the value manually so we'll also select the operator for this so simply select a att so the amount is 25 let's select any amount so when we click next the system is going to ask for when we want the top up to be sent so now that we are on the schedule page it's telling us that we're going to send top up to these three numbers and their appropriate amounts and the amounts that the the estimate amount that the number will receive in their local currency so basically now you can set the times for when the system should send the actual top-ups or you can select schedule now to send them right now so I'm simply gonna schedule now and submit so once these are scheduled the system will take you to the top-ups page and you'll see all the top-ups that you have scheduled Again, these are going to be pending and system is going to process it in a few minutes. So let's wait for the system to process these. So now that the system has processed the top ups, it's telling me that it was able to process these two top ups successfully and one failed. If you click on the fail icon, it will tell us why it failed. So it's telling us that the phone number was not valid, which is correct so these can there can be multiple errors that can happen during a top up so for example you didn't have enough balance in your reload the account for this top up so what you can do is retry the top up so if i click retry it's gonna reschedule it and basically try again in another in another few seconds but as this number is not valid the top up is still gonna fail so that was basically it. See how easy it was to actually set up this whole sample project. They basically give you single command to set everything up on your server. The only two requirements are that the server should have Docker installed and make installed. These two you should be able to install on almost all operating systems no matter what your server is working on. They do provide you details on what the database credentials are but you don't really need to worry about these unless you're making changes to the system and basically extending to it. They also give you a few make commands that you can use so basically if you want to stop the server you can copy the make stop command so if i do make stop so it will stop all everything related to the project so if i go back and try to refresh the page it's not gonna work because everything has been stopped so if i if for if for any reason the server stops you can run make start to start the server again it takes a few seconds to basically start everything and once it is started you can refresh and you're ready to go you can restart or install if something went wrong during the installation and you want to retry the install so that's just about it we will be coming up with more sample projects for you guys to use and extend based on your requirements so do let us know in the comments down below what you guys are looking for do give this video a like it helps a lot and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated. And I will see you in the next one.